Ooh, it's a gigantic one because it's a package from China and we're going to have a lot of fun. Let's go. Hey, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in because we're going to take a close look at the Super Mini or Super Mini SNES. Yeah, Entertainment 600 Plus Edition. I came across this thing on AliExpress and I was more like, oh boy, we're back with another Super NES Mini Clone Classic. Yeah, they keep pumping them out even now in 2021. But this version got this gigantic pile of games, or I'm guessing they are games, 600, or they're just lying like usual. Dual controller and HD functionality. Mm. That is kind of interesting because even now in 2021, we have a lot of these mini versions without the freaking HDMI. So this is what we're going to get inside the box. What I find quite strange, it's not the HDMI cable, that's a 5 that they give me one. But we're going to get two very long USB extension cable i'm <laughs> more like why the hell are we going to get these because when you're looking at the controllers by the way the controls are really horrible like the really cheap versions but look at this it's a very long usb cable so i have no idea why they're going to give us like extra cables but okay hey if it's free or free it's okay micro usb and the reason why because this thing needs like the original system from a 5 volt power adapter the on and off switch, reset, it doesn't do anything. Over here we're going to get an TF slot. So I'm assuming you can maybe add some games. HDMI, AV out, and the mic USB for powering in. And at the front we're going to get two USB ports for the controllers. And later in this video we will crack it open just to see what this device runs. But okay, let's hook it up and let's see what we're going to get. Okay, so everything has been connected. Let's power it on. There's an LED over there. You can barely see it because there was... This thing is so deep, I have no idea. I can't, I can't even see it. Ah, oh, Gamebox 60XX. Live in your world, play in ours. Did it just give me the intro sound of a freaking PlayStation Portable? Oh boy. This is going to be like. I'm gonna take you for a ride! Do -do 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 -do. Okay, they surprised me this one. So here at the top, we're going to get some icons. Uh, can we switch it out? Nope, there's nothing. We can do about it more like shortcuts to games. I really hate those things because you can change it out and if they're going to make, get messed up like the files corrupted, you're just dumb. It has support for Neo Geo, Super Famicom, Game Up Fonts, Mega Drive, Famicom. And having the setup, let's take a close look in this. That's it. Only having language. Could be. Wow. Wow. That is a lot of settings. So yeah. Let's try some games because that is the only thing that we can do now. There is nothing much to say about the menu. I just wanted to show you there is no fancy menu, little picture, nothing at all. So this is the only thing that I got. Some files and that's it. So when you want to boot up a game, it seems to be ever having the settings. And the setting is quite interesting. So we're hearing like the scale, full and original. So we have an aspect ratio option. Key mapping for controller one and controller two. It says that there is no controller connected. Oh boy, that's not going to be very good. Sound output on and off. So fun fact, like part of the settings are basically when you're stu starting up the game. Okay, so let's boot up some games and let's see how they're running. You know that I chose the original size. I'm more like, hey, we're going to get the original experts ratio, but no, we're going to get this tiny screen. What is original about this? Okay, let's reboot it and let's try this again. And when I'm trying to use it on scale, this is what we're going to get. Okay, so this express ratio stuff doesn't make any sense. Beefcake mode! Pressing select to start brings me back to the main menu. We can make a save game and a load game. Hmm, quite interesting. But I can already say like this main game runs like shit. Listen to the music. Oh. What seems to be Neo Geo did force them into the right express ratio.
So fun fact is that like, whoa, okay, that was messed up. No, the fun fact was like, the D-pad itself, it's feeling really horrible, but it is quite responsive. Holy crap. Holy crap. That is bad. Whoa. Oh, crap. That doesn't help my... <laughs> that doesn't help my gameplay whatsoever. Oh, oh that is messed up. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh my. <laughs> I think I'm not going to say anything more. And I'm not afraid to say that. Everything on this device is messed up. And these are like the same issues that I noticed with like the cheap handhelds from four or five years ago. Okay guys, so let's do a quick teardown. I just wanted to see what is inside this horrible piece of crap. Okay, so for people are saying, hey, you can make a sticky pie in it. Yep, you can do so, but you can also get yourself a super pie case that is way more convenient and they are even better quality than this one. I must say that this case itself, it's not super bad. I do like the casing itself, but I can't not freaking understand how you can mess something like this up. It's more like even the super NES part is not even freaking running on this. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Like everything is messed up, like everything. And I was thinking like the Super Cons or Super Cons or the Xbox Classic X game stuff was horrible. But this, no, never expected it. Oh, okay. Can we just lift it out or what? Huh. The four screws are over here. Like this, PCB is super clean. Let's get this bird boy out. I think maybe this can be the issue that it's still sticking in the case. Yep, it was. Let's turn it around. Ah, uh, here we can see more. Oh, let me, let me see. I oh, can check it on the camera. It's very hard to read, but it says here J2279B chip. So they're using some real chip. This is the Samsung chip. Uh, otherwise I need to get some more information, but the thing is I'm guessing this is one of the storage capacity, another one for the RAM. But the point is more like they're using really old chips for this. I have seen this before in one of these mini clones, but it is of course like the chip they are using, like in handheld stuff like that. Oh, but in the end, it doesn't even matter where they are using it or what. It runs like crap. And this is what we're going to call a waste of plastics. Waste. It's just a piece of e-waste. Usually I make a list of pros and cons. And I can say like, the positive thing is the controller. Yeah, at first I was completely not happy with it. Felt like a really horrible control. Does still feel like a horrible control. Doesn't, doesn't even come close with the original Super NES. But I say when playing with it, it does work fine. But then overall, like this device is just the big con of it. Like, it's not working, every single game runs like crap. The casing does look like a very nice casing, so maybe you can put it for display. But that's it. I want to thank you for watching. Consider subscribing. Hit that little bell, become one of the Wicked family. So subscribe. It would be great to see you in the next one. Well, because maybe we can find a nice product. I want to put it back in the box. And endeavor. I want to look at it again. <laughs>